All right, so this is an HP. This is the ProBook 4420S. And uh, it's been very slow. It's slow and it's been freezing up on me. I had uh, VLC trying to play video and it just freezes on me. And it's just, it's, uh, it's just been. So Windows 10, it has uh, 8 gigabytes of memory. But now I'm going to take out the hard drive. It has a standard uh, hard drive. We're going to put an SSD. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do now. So this here, you can't just pop this off. It's, uh, it's got three screws. battery it's four screws four screws we're going to remove to be able to pop off that little plate in the front there doesn't make it easy. Alright, so now that we got those screws out of the way, we can come back over here and this should just come off. Comes off. Let's get that out of the way. This other magnet over here. So now to get to the hard drive we gotta get rid of this uh, we gotta move this uh, keyboard. It's in the way. So here there is one, two uh, three, three screws, or maybe four, four. So this you're just going to push forward, all right? Push forward, and, and that's it. But you have to be careful. There's a little ribbon here. So as you can see here, we have. If you were to change the memory, which is this, I had upgraded the memory here. It had only uh, four gigs. Uh, so I I upgraded it to eight to four gig modules. All right. So it's got eight gigabytes. That was another time ago. So now the hard drive is under here in this part here so we're we need to remove this part and uh, there are three screws there Push it towards your right. All right. There you go. There should be a little ribbon here too for the little mouse tracking pad thing, whatever. It's very small. And here we have the hard drive. A couple of screws here too. All right. So there's this screw. It holds down the hard drive. That's going to come off. Oh, it's got kind of a little spring thing to it. That's fine. So then, then it's removing these two little screws. This is too uh, 
Slides out to the right. There's the old hard drive. Are you right back? All right. So now, let's get one of these screws here. Four screws here. Let's get the hard drive out. Four screws. Right. So now, let's get the SSD drive. So from Windows 10, we're gonna we're gonna go to Ubuntu, or actually Ubuntu, right? Which I had already installed on the drive as. Previously, this and Interruption. All right. Let's go back to this. So now I'm just attaching the SSD, 256 gigs, and uh, yeah, it's an old. Uh, it's old, but with eight gigabytes of RAM, an SSD drive, and Linux. That's it. Unless you're gaming or something else, but if you if you just if you go online or if you gotta do everything's online nowadays. You gotta check your mail. You wanna check out the news. You wanna go to Netflix. You go whatever accounts you wanna go on to. Whatever you wanna do. I mean, that's uh, you don't need the fancy stuff now. If you're gonna game and stuff, that's different. You you need you need a better computer for that. You know. So, um, Alright, so that's on there. Let's get the other uh, screws. So this this ain't so bad once you know how to get to it. If you don't know how to get to it, then you know the, if you're used to you know Dells are sometimes are, are a little bit easier. You know, there's the Dell D630s and all that. This thing just pops up, and that's it. This you have to go around the back. Got the battery, on take out those screws. So if you're not familiar, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a hard time. Right, there we go. That's in there. A little Wi-Fi module. All right. So let's get this thing back in there. So everything's screwed in. Everything's good. Now we're gonna slide this back in place to the left. There we go. Very good. This. Let's get those four screws in there. Let's get 
these four screws in. Four, where is it? It's three, three screws, three screws here. in there so now let's get the keyboard back in place easier said than done Let's get the four screws in. Remember, what holds this in place is going to be those screws. So you just want to make sure it's in. And then you flip it around. And we add the screws back. They're not aligning. It's the cover thing. It's probably uh, you gotta play with it a little bit and make sure that it's on okay. out of the way. Use, uh, old hard drive magnets are great for, great for making sure you don't lose any screws. I'll throw away the old hard drive and the static uh, protection of the plastic. Now, let's see, the boot.
boots. That or it might be dead too. I don't know, it's coming up. Alright, let's see. There we are, we're in the login. And uh, let me go ahead and log in. Okay. Log in. Uh, Alright. There are upgrades available. Do you want to do a system upgrade? This will mean packages can be upgraded installed or remove 23R security upgrades. So I will not do that now, we'll do that later. And that's it. We're up and running. Shut it down.